Hi, welcome to the Market Alert for Thursday, the 5th of September 2024. So hard landing panic leads to first yield curve disinversion in two years as NVIDIA continues to plunge. If yesterday's market dump was a bang, today's continued selling more of a whimper. So it's referring back there obviously to uh, Tuesday's sell-off following the Labor Day celebrations. So maybe a whimper, but uh, there's something brewing, that's for certain. US stocks were ultimately lower on Wednesday, albeit not to the same extent as the Tuesday session, and the dollar drops. Bonds pop after jolts uh, falls beneath forecast. Yeah, the jolts numbers yesterday came in softer than forecast. Let's just uh, have a look at those. Let's just go back to uh, yesterday. You can see there that we were forecast at uh, 809, came in at 7.67. And today we've got um, construction for the UK construction PMI. ADP is another big one today for the markets. And then unemployment claims as well. And then we've got final services PMI. ISM PMI and then we've got uh, crude inventories which doesn't seem to uh, carry a lot of weight these days. That said, uh, crude oil's come off quite a bit this week so it will be interesting to see what these numbers are and what the inventories are at 4pm uh, but the main focus today is going to be those uh, ADP and unemployment claim numbers out at 115 and 130 respectively there. Right, let's have a look at uh, this bit of a quieter day uh, yesterday and kick off with the Dow. And in the Dow yesterday, the market putting in a low, uh, which was lower than uh, Monday's, but uh, finding support and coming back. The market needs to get back above the 20 bar moving average at the moment, so still some weakness around. Uh, we moved higher in the electronic session, cash session again market sells off so it makes you wonder if there's some big organizations and institutions selling here and running the futures market so this pattern has been consistent now for the last month but overnight uh, prices are uh, still trying to move up uh, they need to get back above the dp and the closer in order to keep prices uh, stable but this pattern is slightly worrying as well it's, it's uh, more of a what would be called a distribution phase where you keep churning the market up i mean in the old days Going back to the 90s, early 90s, before futures became really dominant in the market, it was a case of uh, market makers uh, manipulating prices higher to fill sell orders of the physical stocks. But of course, everything's changed since then. You know, everything, all of the uh, the pits and everything else have closed. Everything's electronic, and the futures is an ideal way to and the derivatives to bring market prices up. And then they can sell into the cash market later. So that when they have the sell orders, the price has already been supported by the futures uh, being higher. And it's, it is a form of uh, manipulation without a doubt, but it's a tool that is used uh, very extensively, probably designed for that, that purpose, uh, to be honest with you. So yeah, just to finish off with the daily chart, need to get back above that uh, 20 bar moving average where the market's finding a bit of resistance there at the moment. In the German DAX, speaking of 20 bar moving averages, the market's traded down to this, but there is some demand there. That said, the market's already started to uh, drop below the 20 bar moving average there as well. So still some weakness around at the moment. Again, waiting for the ADP numbers and then ultimately, of course, the NFP numbers on Friday. Market uh, up straight away when the market uh, opened the cash market. Well, we had a bit of a drop, then they brought the market up. Then it just traded uh, sideways, drifted lower. And interestingly enough, has uh, broken the support to the left of uh, yesterday afternoon following the jolts numbers there. Market needs to get back above the DP and the close and also uh, back above the, uh, the low there as well. In the S&P 500, bit of demand coming in for the market here as well. Needs to uh, get back and close above the 20 bar moving average, but it is finding support at the 50 EMA at the moment. In the 30 minute chart, again, the electronic session up, cash market down, and uh, very, very similar to the Dow there. It needs to get back above the DP, the 20 bar, and the 50 EMA there. In the FT100, again, demand coming in at this level following those uh, jolts numbers. 
and needs to get back above the averages there as well. The Certainly the 50, where it's struggling at the moment, still below this. Then we've got the 30-minute chart, uh, which saw prices move up, and then pulling back with the the Dow there. And uh, DP at the moment is just about uh, holding prices at this uh, level. In the US dollar, this was down yesterday on those jolts numbers because uh, obviously they came in weaker, which is good news for the Fed to cut rates. Uh, so we'll just have to see if they manage to do this by the end of the month. It's all going to depend on the next CPI numbers and uh, the NFP numbers out on Friday. So a drop in the dollar was a boost for the metals. Uh, silver moving high yesterday on some new buying at the 78% retracement. But it's not over yet because, like I say, we've got these NFP numbers to come out on Friday and today's uh, ADP ones as well. So don't be surprised if we see a slam in the metals and the dollar moving back. We already started to see silver continue to move lower. It was brought back and managed to maintain that uh, overnight but you can see it's already come off yesterday's high needs to stay above the dp failure to do this so they'll soon slam it down to the low uh, of 2775 the gold price also uh, got a bit of a hammer in yesterday and uh, managed to come back but it's the moment it's below the 20 bar moving average it needs to get back above this in order to move higher and there you can see it was uh, a far aggressive far more aggressive move to the downside than silver yesterday in the mid morning we found some support and then uh, the news obviously sending the prices a bit higher there so let's have a look at the gold silver ratio as a result of uh, silver gaining a bit more ground and there you can see that because we've got red so uh, silver outperforming percentage wise uh, the, the gold market but uh, again don't be surprised to see this go back to 90 with the release of ADP and NFP numbers over the next couple of days. And uh, yeah, right, let's have a look at yesterday's trades and uh, very weird things happening at the moment in this market since they returned on Tuesday. We're getting a lot of what are called volatility spikes. Uh, where you can see which you get at the open you get that sort of thing but it's the as it goes quiet then all of a sudden you get these moves so now it's gone quiet and then uh, you'll see a spike uh, like this here and you'll see more of these as we go through so the market moving up uh, quite nicely there and then uh, we move down and then the market becomes quiet then we get the first uh, loser and then we get a spike this is what I'm on about so we get a spike to the upside and then we get absolutely nothing no follow through as uh, you can see there you've got the red coming in on the green which means there's some selling around and then we just slam the price down and this was uh, consistent yesterday all the way through again another spike up and then we get uh, nothing after uh, this you can see there the market uh, then moving back down and it was the same in the afternoon now once uh, this the, whatever they were doing in these spikes trying to offload obviously then the market uh, managed to move up uh, 50 points without too much uh, interruption but still volatile as uh, you can see there and again you're getting these spikes to bring the market back just one bar two minutes and uh, through here as well again you can see it there just trying to hold prices so then we get into uh, the afternoon and again, you can expect the spike because obviously the Dow's kicked in. Market uh, moves back, get back to the low. Then we're waiting for the ADP news. And you can see that with the sideways prices there. We do get a potential sell signal, but uh, you wouldn't take a sell signal with the news being released. And the market uh, then and another one there, which you wouldn't take. And then the market comes back, spikes. And then uh, down we go on the news. And uh, unfortunately, the recording had a problem at this point. So let me just bring this across slowly so we can see, because you're going to get a whole big picture in a minute. So there we go. So this is uh, where the news came out. Market sold off. Then we came back. We had a potential buy signal that went to the scalp. We then had a second one that didn't because now we spiked down. Uh, this one, OK, as the market then uh, ran back to the upside with the US markets there. 
So yeah, very strange, very strange price action at the moment. Like I said at the the beginning, I think there's something big coming down the line. It just doesn't seem to be uh, feeling quite right. It's it's lost that uh, sort of uh, making new all time highs that we'd seen over the last few weeks. That seems to have disappeared now for the time being. Maybe it's because obviously we're getting close to the next FOMC meeting, which is I think a week after next, and then. Uh, yeah, we'll see uh, some fireworks in the markets, but certainly something doesn't feel right with regards to uh, all of this at the moment. Right, let's uh, have a look at uh, what's happening overnight. So prices at the moment have uh, moved lower, and now they're just trying to come back towards the DP and uh, the close there. So let's see if the market can get back above the DP today. Okay, that's it uh, for this one. Have a great day and as ever, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.